Mike Hakko, this is Uncle Corey here again. I'm trying to do another virtual field trip for you folks. And today we're at Palolo Stream and we're going to see what we can get here. Um, out in back of me is our site next to St. Louis School. And I entered from a different way because I didn't want to go through the school because I know it's closed. I came through this concreted area from up above the site. So if I turn around, we can see how different it looks up there. Concrete walls and concrete lined stream bed versus when we go look below, pretty natural stream bed with a lot of shaded trees in this area. So much different habitat. So different animals might live up above this site and then compared to what's in this site itself. Let's we'll see what we can get. Uh, if it sounds like my, I'm mumbling, it's because I have a camera in my mouth. I have a GoPro right here without having to uh, use my hands because I need both hands for this activity. I know I could wear something on my head, but it works a little bit better for me. Let's get to it. Beep. There it is. Cosmic cichlids, very popular in the aquarium trade. We find them here pretty regularly. Stripes on the sides of its body. We've got a few of those. And Mexican mollies from Central America. So a lot of them here. I've probably got about 20 or 30 in this net so far. It's kind of real crazy how much there are here. Let's get them in the bucket. We got some Mozambique tilapia here. These aren't the black chin tilapia that you might have seen in a different episode where we're at Kaimaki High School. There are some black chin tilapia there. And we also have the Mozambique ones here. It's a little bit different body shape um, and there's a different coloration on it. Here's a one that's developing into a male, but it's a more bright coloration. Females have a lot more gray coloration. When they're adult males and mature, they'll be very black. Here's the female Mozambique tilapia. It had its mouth brooding a lot of its babies right here. So there's probably about a hundred babies in its mouth, maybe less, but there's quite a bit of them. Pretty hard for them to eat, um, to feed during this time. But they get much bigger than this, but they're already mature enough to reproduce. There's all those baby tilapia, which are cichlids also. Just like the convict cichlid, let's get them in the bucket. We got a few more convict cichlids and also a few more Mexican mollies. Uh, but bristle nose catfish again because they have bristles on the sides of their heads and they use it to protect themselves when they're being attacked. Wow. They have a little bit different tail than the sucker mouth catfish and the body's a little bit different. So there's three in here one, two, and three. Let's get them in the bucket. Couple more Mozambique tilapia. Again, the quick females right here, not male. And a few, a few more Mexican mollies as well. Let's get them in the bucket. Oh, sorry. And one convict cichlid. Small guy. Thanks for joining me again today, guys. We had a bunch of different animals today, but unfortunately, no natives. It's really hard for me to catch them by myself in a site that is just this wide. It's kind of a big site for one person to be catching them in. I got some of the non-native representatives that usually occur here. The last time we were here, we got several pretty good sized of Opu Nakea, and they do come through this area, but it's like, I just couldn't catch any today. Good to know that they do come here once in a while, but it takes a much bigger team to do these surveys. I really appreciate you guys coming out with me in the field online, but also if you came out before in the past, I really appreciate you guys' help because I just can't do it all by myself. We got quite a bit of Molly today. That was the bulk of what we got today. I think we got almost a hundred of them. Um, and we got some small bristlenose catfish, maybe about four of them, I think, today total. And then we got about four 
uh, Mozambique tilapia. Some were very small, especially the ones that you guys saw that were being mouth greeted by one of those females. There was tons of them in there. The sub-adults and adults, they were about four of them. And we also got um, the convict cichlids, which were kind of the same shape as the Mozambique tilapia, but it wasn't quite um, as large. There were the zebra red ones, the much darker ones, the black bands on them. Again, a lot of these animals are introduced to Hawaii for the aquarium trade. Tilapia was brought here for bait and for some cases for food, especially the Mozambique tilapia. It's uh, very fortunate that they're dominating our urban streams, especially in Pololo stream here. It's a lot of concrete and it warms up the water temperature quite a bit. If you look way back there, you can see that area up there, the concrete line channel. It warms up the water pretty good. So it just depends um, on the time of the year, but uh, in, in the summer, it can get over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's very unfortunate that it can be a physical barrier to fish migration, especially for our natives that are very sensitive to water temperature. But a lot of the non-natives that occur here, they can tolerate a little bit more dynamic temperature ranges as they're adapted to living in. They're from places that have a greater thermal range and tolerance for water temperature. So it's very important that you guys understand that a lot of these aquarium fish and other exotic animals that have been introduced to Hawaii, they shouldn't be going into the stream. So if you have an unwanted pet or a fish tank at home that you have unwanted uh, aquarium animals in them, please do not put them in the stream. Please take them back to the pet store that you got them from. They're supposed to accept them. But again, don't just go out to a stream and catch fish and take it to the pet store. That's not what you're supposed to do. Uh, that's not what they're supposed to take in. If they're unwanted pets, they should take it in. You might not get money for them, but again, they will adopt them and hopefully get them into another home where their owners can take care of them. All right, so I think that'll be all for today. For you guys out there, again, mahalo for all that you do. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, um, stay indoors, stay socially distant from other people. Don't forget to aloha aina when you guys can get back out there again. Mahalo for joining me. Take care. Aloha.